right, here goes. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, crew, this is your captain speaking. Our next stop is Aquila City. Everyone to their action stations. Jump online in five, four, three, two, one, jump. Welcome to Free Star Space. We're going to do a quick scan for contraband, and you can be on your way. That's all we need. You're clear for landing at Aquila City. Vasco. Um, where are our guests? Oh, they're already over here waiting. Sam. All right, we're here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm gonna be riding your tail until this is over. Understood. Let's get going. Uh, wait a minute. What about Cora? Is she coming? She stays with the ship, usually. Got a few more years to go before I let her swill whiskey in some backwater bar. All right. Well, that's good. Um, understood, then. Let's get going. There's uh, something you should know up front. Uh-oh. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co. first man on Aquila. That tale I mentioned before... The one I think is connected to an artifact? It's something of a family legend. After Planetfall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila. And he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the Empty Nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Okay. So, Solomon Co. is your ancestor. Your family built Aquila City. Yeah. And the Coes have been coasting on that for ten generations now. Solomon's always a larger-than-life figure if you read the histories, but... If you just listen to a few recordings of the man... He was simple. Just wanted to keep moving forward. All right, then. Uh, you... I think you, uh... Let's just hold on a second here while I bask in your celebrity status. Ah, <sighs> okay, okay. Smartass. This is why I don't like bringing it up. Mm, I can see. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local gal bank. We'll be heading there. Okay, well. Let's go. This certainly is the frontier. Look at this. Dirt, mud. Haven't 
haven't seen anything like this in quite some time. Alright, let's go this way. You're not planning Hold on it. using that. By are order you? of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Uh -oh. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Never a dull moment around here. I know you. You're Sam Coe. Marshal will be damn glad to have another Free Star Ranger helping out. Afraid your information is a couple years out of date. So what seems to be the trouble? Well, all I know is there was an attempted bank robbery and things went sideways. You'd have to ask the Marshal if you want the whole story. Is Marshal Blake in charge of security? Not usually. But he took charge of the situation because the bank robbers are part of the Shaw gang. The Marshal's had a lot of experience dealing with the gang, so he's calling the shots. Okay. And how do I get to Gall Bank? It's just behind me on the right. The place is on lockdown, so you should steer clear unless you can help out. Well, if people are in danger, then I want to help. I guess that'd be the Marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well, I doubt those robbers are gonna let us leisurely peruse the Galbank vault. We better see if we can help move the situation along. Yeah, what are you doing way back there? Come on. Kela City. Feels like I spent half my life trying to get out of this place. You planning to tell me your demands at some point? You find someone we can trust, and maybe we will. Like who? Not you, not one of your rangers, and not these city guards, neither. <sighs> what the hell am I supposed to do with that? Marshal. You need to stand Marshal back Blake. now. Sounds like you could use some help. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. I don't know you either. Now please, stand back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. They must have made some demands by now. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Hmm. Well, what is your plan? Without demands, I ain't got much to work with. About all we can do is wait and see. Well, maybe I can talk some sense into them. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to, but whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. <laughs> also, there are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey, you in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Hands where I can see him. And don't try nothing. Security around here is a joke. You're the negotiator, huh? If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. First, I'd like to know who I'm talking to. What's your name? Uh, it's Jed. Jed Bullock. All right. It's good to meet you, Jed. I'm Hill. Well, ain't you polite. Is 
So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? I give you my word, Jed. I just want to help. <laughs> I don't know you, so why should your word mean anything to me? Don't you just want to get out of there? We're staying as long as it takes. Talking to me is the only way you're going to get out of here alive. I... I see what you mean. I promise I'm here just to make sure that nobody gets hurt. Yeah? Well, maybe that's just what you want us to think, so we'll give up. Nothing you say is gonna change my mind, so let's just move on. Well, tell me your demands. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are, and the Marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? How do I know you'll keep your word? What, do you think we want to stay locked up in here? Hell no! Well, that's a pretty tall order. Then persuade the Marshal that it ain't. This whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean and simple, you know? I don't know. So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. Well, you know, it's not too late to end this peacefully. What do you mean? Those hostages are just innocent bystanders. There's no need to involve them in this. You have to believe me. We never meant to take hostages. Even if one hostage dies, your robbery charge becomes a murder charge. You don't want that to happen. Damn it. I didn't think of it that way. Nobody's been hurt yet. Surrender now and the judge might go easy on you. If the hostages die, it'll be the Marshal's fault for not taking us seriously. Nah, it's too late to back out now. We're seeing this through. You go tell the Marshal to get that ship ready so we can all walk away from this thing without anybody getting hurt. All right, well, I see I need to get some persuasion skills. Shock gangs making fools of us. I heard Marshall. every word. He's talking too loud. Sign of fatigue. All that fear and exhaustion are taking a toll. They're not thinking straight. That puts us in a very precarious position. There must be something more we can do. I appreciate your idealism. But there were only ever two ways this could end. You've already ruled out one of them, so that leaves us with only one option. We have to free the hostages by taking out their captors. Problem is, they're keeping me and the guards in sight at all times. If we try to move against them, they'll see us coming. Let me handle this. I'll put these amateurs down before they know what hit them. Done this kind of work before, huh? Good. I'll feel a lot better about sending in a professional. That sounded kind of cold-blooded. Now, I see two ways we can play this. You could ask to see the hostages. And once you're inside, you can make your move. If you're quick, I think you can take them out before they have a chance to respond. But you'll have to shoot to kill. There's also a back door. Most of their attention's focused out front here, so they may not be watching it as closely. This key should unlock it. All right, I think I like the back door. Stay calm plan. and let our security forces do their work. All 
All right, Sam Co. You don't seem to have the stomach for this kind of work. I don't think we're gonna get along very well. Sam Co. Well, they don't need it. No, they don't. Don't tell me they killed all the hostages. No, this is a... Still the Shaw gang. Where are... I, wait. Where are the hostages? so much you were the only hostage now i have two heroes solomon co and you well he didn't even want to help he didn't want to do this all right don't shoot we're coming out Hostages. Are they safe? Uh, well, I only saw one hostage. And they are safe. That's... that's good to hear. Those people aren't just citizens of the Freestar Collective. They're like family. We all are. As for the Shaw Gang, we'll grieve for them, too. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. Oh, if you're interested, I... head on over to the Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. All right. Now that lives are on the line, let's get back in Galbank, see if we can get those maps. Oh. Oh, no. baby. Marco! I thought that was Galbank. They didn't hurt you, did they? It's okay. I'm okay. I, I just need a minute. So, we'll take it from here. 
This this is where I become a, a free star collector. That's the Ranger. Ranger. Ranger Central. Not a bad bar, too. Yeah, let me go. I might as well. I've got You've so got much guns. talent. No doubt of and you're breathing. So that much talent in combat skills. I might as well put them in. Still feels a little weird, though. Guess I'm not used to having the tube out. But it's nothing that would keep me from getting back out there. Seems that way. Emma. Need something? You got some business with me? Oh, uh, the marshal sent me. Oh. Well, if the marshal sent you to me, that means he's looking to recruit you. Just so you know what you're getting into. I'll explain who we are and what we do. Well, the Freestar Rangers ensure the safety and security of the Freestar Collective and its people. We might hunt down a fugitive, break up a smuggling operation, investigate a starship theft, or put some would-be bank robbers behind bars. Whatever needs doing to keep the people safe, we do. All right, well, don't most people, most places have their own security force? Sure, but we rangers work across the whole of Freestar Collective Space. All right. Well, that sounds admirable. Like most things that are worth doing, it ain't always easy. But do I think we make the Freestar Collective a little safer for everyone? Yeah, I do. I imagine you've got some questions. I'll answer anything I can. Well, I think I ran into some of your rangers on our last mission. So is it paying work? I'll say right up front that if you're looking to get rich, this ain't the line of work for you. But, yeah, we do get paid from time to time to help with expenses and such. Okay, and what authority do the Freestar Rangers have? Well, in theory, a Freestar Ranger can go anywhere in Freestar Collective Space, uh, even private property. But of course, it doesn't always work out that way. We also have jurisdiction over any local security when we're tracking a fugitive. Hmm, sounds like a specter from a different galaxy. Are there a lot of rangers? The number's always changing due to retirements, recruiting, and unfortunately, death in the line of duty. But as far as I know, there's never been more than a dozen rangers at any one time. All right, well, I know what I need to. Let's continue. Okay, then. A word about myself. I'm in charge of making sure anyone that wants to be a Freestar Ranger is up to the task. That being said, the Marshal wouldn't send you here if he didn't think you had potential. So, what's it gonna be? Are you ready to sign up with the Freestar Rangers? <laughs> the Marshal's job. Um, how do I apply? Do I fill out a form or something? I prefer a more practical kind of evaluation. I'll give you the details if you want to join up. Sign me up. Might be a good fit for you. Oh, you the like that? can do a lot good. of good. Before I hand you a badge, I need to know you can handle the job. You helped oh, out I, with the I hostage situation. I get a badge, too. But sometimes people just get lucky. Tell you what. Use the mission terminal and take one of the listed jobs. Your choice. Come back alive, and we'll talk about you joining up. Hmm. Didn't I already prove myself at Gall Bank? This is a dangerous line of work, and I'm not putting someone in the field unless I'm sure they're ready. Okay. Prepare to be impressed. Oh, got no lack of confidence, have you? Well, let's see if you back it up. Mm-hmm. Okay, so where's the, the mission board? Okay, it's over here. Stage.
Oh, what is this? The Crimson Fleet. I'm taking that one. All right, Co. Sam, Co. Let's go back to the Gall Bank and do what we need to do. So much nice going job. on. Some make it seem like he built the whole damn Free Star Collective by himself. Shaw Gang's gone too far this time. So what now? All right, let's get back to that bank vault. Where he the the vault? Goodbye. Okay. With the vault. Can you help us? I've had quite enough excitement for now. I think there was a vault downstairs. All right. The family has a few different deposit boxes secured in here, so let's look around. Here's a copy of the key. Okay, now remember, Solomon was from an earlier generation, so it's not going to be on a slate. Big bundles of paper is what we're after. Um. Do I? I must have this mission selected, right? No. that old mule saw this coming. Who's Jacob? Why did he take the maps? He's just a bitter old man. Interfering in what's none of his business. Sounds like we need to talk to him. Yeah, we do. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. Hmm. Why would Cora be mad? Because I told her we wouldn't have time to check in with her. <laughs> Look, I was trying not to do this, okay? Well, Sam, level with me here. Tell me who Jacob is. We really gotta do this. We're going to the estate anyway. I'm going to find out. You're not wrong. We can't work together if you don't trust me. I know. It's just... It's personal. <sighs> All right. Fine. He's my dad, okay? Oh, okay. We're not exactly on friendly terms. He probably figured I'd come for the maps at some point. Got ahead of me. Family business just wasn't something I wanted to get into, you know? What about Cora? She and your dad get along. <laughs> God, that's the worst part. They're thick as thieves. Hmm. Last thing I need is Jacob in her life. Let's leave it at that. I see. Well, thanks for opening up to me. Yeah, well, sorry I'm such a pain about it. No forgiveness between me and my old man. It's, uh, co-tradition. All right, shall we? Yes, we shall. Come on. So, where is Jacob? Galbag needs better security. I 
just saying, my family was on the first ship. Proper founders. Hopefully not too far away. A mirror wolf at the low house could really use someone helpful like you. State. Are you Jacob? Well, well. Sam Cole finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? And what's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah. Don't drag me into this. You dragged yourself into this when you stepped into my house without so much as an invitation. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. I must confess, the hum of a grav drive makes me feel alive. Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. Well... You need a minute? Want to talk about what just happened? No, I don't. It's just... It's been a while, but this is how it goes. Every time. He mentioned his granddaughter. Maybe Cora could help. No, no, no. I mean, this is no place for her, okay? The less time she spends with Jacob, the better. I mean, we need those maps. Maybe she can help. Damn it. Fine, fine, fine. We'll, we'll go get her. I just, if there's any other options, I'd appreciate doing those first. I guess we can do some of the other options. My own father's trying to keep those maps from me. <sighs> well, that's it then. What is it this time, Constellation? <laughs> Sam wanted to talk to you about something. Tell him, Sam. Yeah, that's right. I'm not leaving until I get what I came for. Let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, 
The readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. <laughs> All right, just tell me what's wrong. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the empty nest is a cave right in the middle of Shawgang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbag. All right, well, bringing outlaws to justice sounds like fine work. Well, just remember, it's about the artifact, not them. Hurting bad guys puts a smile on your face, that's a bonus. Let's get to that cave. Where'd I get these credits from? All right, uh, that big thing over there. Shaw Gang. No, I need to fix this, uh. Come on. 
All different types of smugglers. Some ain't half bad, some ain't much better than Crimson Fleet. What was that? from somewhere. somebody. Oh, you know what? Now I wasn't that close to the fire. Smugglers about. You got Sometimes it. Sometimes they're friendly, but close to it. Okay, looks like we cleared them out. What is that? Some kind of creature.
else out of ammo. a survivor. the gravimetric anomaly or incursion and the music Is that you? Let's get out of here. I mean, not unless you have Don't anything lie. to say. My heart stopped for a beat when you passed out. I passed I'm out. You're still with us. Okay. I guess we're done. Yeah, I guess we are. Come on. Contraband cash. Well, I'm not going to be able to open that. Not sure what a tombstone is either. We do what we must, right? The 
Let's go. Looks like a smuggler den. No. Uh -oh. Warren nest? Or whatever you call it, smugglers are near. Hold on, there's somebody out here. I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Akila's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashta away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. <laughs> well, maybe we can work this out. No need for violence. Oh, really? Let's hear it. This is an important scientific discovery. Let us go and you'll be in the history books. Don't bullshit me, Constellation. <laughs> hey, a brother can try. You let us leave now and we won't tell the authorities where you were. Always good to know someone who can keep their mouth shut. We got past all your crew before you fight us, you'll lose. You got past a few rookies, that's all. Sick of trading words with you. Kill them! Damn it! I thought these were the, um, shawls. Tell me, what are they, like, regenerating health? I don't understand this. I mean, how many times do I have to... Oh, no, I'm running out of health. Oh, now it runs. Finally dead. I thought we killed Ashta. Or Shaw or whoever. Some somebody's back here. Waste not, need not. Even smugglers might take a shot at you if you invade their turf. Oh, 
All right, so uh, but there's something here. Some kind of contamination. All right, that's not working. All right, return to the lodge. Space Needle, here we come. We're in one piece. I'll call that a win. Let's get back to the lodge. All right, everybody, to your action stations. Prepare for liftoff. Seventy-five ranged kills. Or we can start with armor penetration or crippling. Or sharpshooting. Oh, increase headshot critical damage. Hey. I really kind of do want that, but then there's targeting. Increased accuracy and range when shooting without aiming. All right, maybe I should think about this because I also am interested in what it was this wellness. Embracing an active lifestyle and good nutrition habits, one may improve their overall, overall sense of health and even gain prolonged life expectancy. It increases my health by 10%. Huh. You know, I think I want that. Hey, we're back. The newest member of our little family really pulled through for us. Is anyone hurt? You didn't let Cora handle the artifact, did you? We don't know what effects it might have on someone her age. Relax. We're fine. Go ahead. Time for that artifact to meet its siblings. Okay. Just, what are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Why would either of those things give the Discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. 
Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. All right, then. I appreciate your help. Catch you later. Likewise. You know where to find us. If you have a moment, I have something I'd like to discuss. You... you want to talk to me, okay? Hello? I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. A soiree? Just what are you up to? A business meeting, of a sort at least. You could just say you need my help. All right, fine. I need your help. It's about an artifact. Really? And our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. I think I would be too. I'm in. That settles it then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. All right, well... I do want to get some rest before we leave. But I'm gonna say I'm ready. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. Okay, well, let's get some rest, and then we'll head off in the morning. Hey, Sarah. <laughs>